Hello and welcome to the Paul Cantabene Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Men's Lacrosse Coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, uh, you opened up conference play last week with a couple big wins uh, over Hood and Albright. Um, just talk about those wins and um, the importance of starting conference play off on a strong note. Well, it's always important to start conference play off you know, winning a few games, and I think we did a good job of that. We got a lot of people in. I thought we played well, got a little confidence, and were able to kind of move forward and get ready for another big week for us. Yeah, let's talk a little bit this week. You've got um, you've got Christopher Newport and you've got um, Lycoming in a conference game. So Christopher Newport, no chance to play a ranked team, play, play another quality top 20 opponent. Yeah, they're a lot like us. You know, they've had one win, one win against a ranked team and got some other losses uh, against some other ranked teams and they beat who they should have, just kind of like us. And uh, so it'll be a pretty big game for both our teams to kind of set us up where we're going to rank regionally, hopefully. But, you know, we got to continue to play well. they got a couple yeah. good attack wins. I think our defense is playing better. We're back to full health now. I think we're yeah. through the through the full flu season now. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and I think we're, uh, that we're kind of playing well and doing the right things. And yeah. I think we've done that a lot this year. We just got to put together 60 minutes. Yeah, talk about like we're right before conference play. Obviously, you played um, you know played Salisbury, Lynchburg, York, and tough straight in a row. I thought three of those four games, you know, there were stretches where you played pretty well. And obviously, that fourth yeah. game tough, you alluded to it a little bit that yeah, you're under the weather. I mean, I think we're putting together 30, 45 minutes. You know, it's just yeah. that fifteen minutes that we're not uh, all there. That's kind of really hurt us in all of those games. And so, you know, we just got to continue to get better and learn from that. I think the way we've played has really helped us throughout the year playing all those tough teams for a certain level of play. I think our guys understand that, and it helps us always and helps us in the second half of our season just getting better because we know the level we need to play at in order to be successful. And I don't, I don't think our plays ever dropped down in the second half of the season. I right. thought it got better. Yeah. And like you said, you've had a chance to play some different guys. And, um, you know, a couple of freshmen that really stood out recently are uh, Seth Thorne at the faceoff and uh, Kim Layden. Yeah, I think Seth's had a great year for us at the faceoff position. You know, he's done really well and he's getting better. And he's been a real asset, especially in, the, uh, in some of our big games, keep giving us the ball back, allowing us to go on runs. Yeah. And, and Cam's been a starter for us all year. You know, he's just done so well about uh, shooting the ball, facilitating the ball. But I think we have some other kids now stepping up, especially um, especially Shane Ford, who's playing so yeah. well now and getting that second line midfield. Ryan Coleman's now playing a lot more for us. Yeah doing a good job. Josh Brandon's in the mix now, doing a good job. So those are all kids that are pretty talented. They're going to help us down the stretch. So it's good to see them getting in the mix and getting a little confidence. Yeah, Connor Nelson's another one that's helped you. Yeah, another freshman attacking for us, getting some play. He's played a lot, you know, in and out of the lineup, but he's done a good job. So he's another big kid that can help us and, and do some things. So we got a really good freshman class that we can really build on for the future. There's no yeah. question about it. Yeah, absolutely. Now you talked about the challenges to try to put that 60-minute game together. As a coaching staff and as a team, how do you figure out how to do that moving forward? As you get towards the end of the season here. Well, I think a lot of it's to us, our mentality. I think, you know, we just got to come in with the right mentality, not worry about who's scoring the goals or who's making the plays, just doing your job and getting better each time. I think at times that we we haven't been able to do it for 60 minutes, but I think each game we're kind of getting better to that and understanding how we have to play. And so I think our challenge is to put our guys in the right position so they can be successful. And that's kind of what we've done with the lineup changes a little bit, moving some people around. Yeah. I think we're getting closer to what is the lineup that we need to be successful. All right, Coach, we wish you the best of luck uh, starting Wednesday right here against Christian Newport Mustang Stadium, and we'll chat again soon. Thanks a lot, Greg. All right, for Coach Paul Cantabani, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Paul Cantabani Show.